Hey everybody, it's Charlize Theron. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's Melissa Peterman. Uh, I'm here on the set of Pictionary and I'm about to play Pictionary's 10 Quick Questions. If you created your own version of Pictionary, what would the theme be? Let's see, things you find in my closet. Because in my closet, it's not just clothes and shoes and hangers and the things you think you'd find. I have found old cans of frosting, yearbooks. I found my husband there one time. So I just think that would be a fun and endless possibilities. Because Tupperware with some old lasagna, that's been in my closet. I've said too much. Let's go to the next question. What are you drawn to right now? I see what you did there. Very clever. I'm drawn to several snack foods that it's not a healthy relationship for me. Um, I'm drawn to binge watching, which that, again, not healthy for me. Uh, let me, let's, here. I'm drawn to like, I wake up every morning and say, Melissa, what could you do to make someone else's life better? That sounded better, use that one. What's your Pictionary drawing strategy? To get it to somewhat resemble something that you can find on earth. What's the hardest thing to draw? Pictures, fill in the blank. Jerry O'Connell is not my Facebook friend. He has not confirmed me, um, which I think is odd. We seem to have a good rapport and just, it's like hanging there just for months. Like, and do I do the wave or the poke? But I don't want to do that because I want to be cool. Who is your favorite artist? I do love Jackson Pollock, Georgia O'Keeffe, Dolly, Monet. Um, I just wanted to sound smart and list artists. Make me sound smart. Like, I'm going to insert some more here. Warhol, Van Gogh, Picasso, Da Vinci. Who is our dream celebrity team captain? I'm going to call in Reba. That's right, Reba, I put it out to you. Because we play a lot of games together, but I'd like to see you draw under pressure. She'd probably be great at it. Oh, she can sing, she can act. You know, she did Broadway, she'd be great at it. Who am I kidding? Did you practice your autograph when you were a kid? Yes, but mostly because I wasn't very good at cursive, so my teacher would make me do it hundreds of times over. So it wasn't much like an autograph, more like a punishment. When you're bored, what's your go-to doodle? I don't know if this is a sign that I need some sort of therapy. I would draw like a little house, but then the house had like a little slide that you could go underground and have your own secret hideaway. <laughs> Something's wrong. But in my head, the idea of being able to slide under and have like my own private underground layer. So I'm some sort of evil villain who wants the underground layer. Do people draw any conclusions about you that you'd like to confirm or deny? I think people conclude that um, I'm loud. I will confirm that. I think people will think that um, I'm always loud and I will deny that because I'm often very quiet in my underground layer. Weekdays at 4 and 5.30 on WBNX.